Welcome back to the program. Well, over the last three weeks, you've been expressing your cares and concerns to our reporters who've been crossing the continent to listen to what you've had to say. They're part of our road trip team and they're here with us right now. Jack and Annalise, what have people been telling you? Well, it's a quite an interesting story in itself. The road trip was a very ambitious idea. We decided to uh, go and try to meet people as spontaneously as possible, and I think that was the key for us. We had a few things booked, but a lot of it was spontaneous. What was your overriding impression, Annalise? What do, what do you feel after these three weeks that you've sort of learned from voters? I think, I think the most interesting thing for me was how important it's been to bridge this gap between the media and people, and so, so the stories that we're telling and the people we're talking about, right. but also uh, a recurring theme was just how far they felt politicians are from their daily lives and their daily struggles, and that was a recurring theme. Every time we uh, stopped along the way and we tried to speak to people, uh, so we met uh, Jose, Daniel, Brigida, they were all talking about how far they felt Brussels was, how far they felt politicians were in terms of their daily struggles. What do you expect to see in uh, your... So Jack's taking over and he's going to be driving through Italy, what do you expect to see in your days on the road? I think that's some, what you just outlined there is something that we're definitely expecting to see in Italy, this distance between Brussels and the politicians that have been elected in the coalition government between the, the League and the Five Star Movement in Italy. I think we're going to try and get to the, to the basis of why why these sort of, uh, sort of anti-Brussels parties, these anti-establishment parties are so successful in Italy and whether that's going to happen in May's European elections as well. We're extremely excited to hear the voices of Italians. We're desperate for everybody to come out and speak to us. Join us on this red sofa. Let us know what's going on. The road trip uh, is all across uh, uh, Twitter and Facebook and uh, Instagram so you can use the hashtag EU road trip to come and join us. We are thoroughly looking forward to getting going. Good luck with the big stories, with the small stories. They're all equally important. You've done a great job and it's been Thank wonderful. You. Thank you so Thank much, you. Good luck, Jack. We're off. OK, so please, as I said, join us. I will be t taking this road trip with Elena Cavallone, who's going to be... who's been putting together some amazing stories across Italy. One of the things we're really looking forward to is going to Verona. Exactly. In Verona, we're going to meet couples from different countries that met in Europe and see how being an international couple looked like, what are the difficulties, but also how Europe maybe um, make, it, make it simple for them to meet up, you know? Exactly. But Border free, border free travel, free movement of people across the European Union has allowed those couples. We're doing it in Verona, obviously the city of Romeo and Juliet. We're going to be driving our trusty steed across uh, Italy. We're hoping that it's going to survive. Everybody knows the sort of reputation of Italian drivers, so we're going to be taking them on as well. It's going to be good fun. We are desperate for everybody to get joined in and let us know exactly what they think of European Parliament elections. We're hoping for many Italians to join us along the way. As I said, keep using that EU road trip hashtag and let us know what you think. Exactly. Now we're going to find real stories of real people, what they wish, what they fear, if they care about Europe. And let's just find out what they think. We're going to be close to them and we're going to find stories that are really important for the countries. We're going to make a big photography, a big photo of the country. So very happy. Two weeks across Italy. Can't wait for you to join us. Well, that's all we have time for on this uh, hour on Euronews Now. But we leave you with a no comment where hundreds of uh, ski enthusiasts have been taking part in the annual Grelka Fest. <laughs>
все, короче, детки, кайфуем. Раз, два, три. Которая едет с Спасибо. Чуть выше, то есть ты... Поехали. Потихонечку, потихонечку,